integer exponents. That means the exponent's positive, negative, or zero. And I'm going to talk about, let's see, I put black to, I'm going to talk about uh, what uh, happens when the, when the exponent is zero and when it becomes negative. And I'm going to do so with a whole bunch of uh, examples here. I'm going to make a, a big chart full of examples. So first I'm going to start with 5 to the third. And the exponent here is positive. 5 to the third is 5 times 5 times 5. And that is 125. Pretty simple. Now I'm going to go with a pattern here. I have 3 and then 2. 5 to the second power is 5 times 5, which is 25. And 3, 2, now I go to 1. 5 to the first is just 5, which is equal to 5, of course. And I also want to notice here, take note on what's happening here. 125 divided by 5 is 25. And again, what's happening here is division by 5 again. Now I'm going to continue with my pattern. 3, 2, 1, now 0. Now to figure out what 5 to the 0 is, I'm going to divide by 5 again. Because that's what the pattern is. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. 5 to the 0 power is equal to 1. In fact, any number, uh, 2 the 0 power, ooh, that's a bad 0, is 1. So I could have... Uh, you know, on the side here, I, I can have 67 to the 0 power. It's 1. And I could have uh, 123 to the 0 power. Still 1. No matter what it is, it's going to be 1. Now, let's continue with this pattern here, because now we're going to get into negative exponents. 3, 2, 1, 0. Now it's 5 to the negative 1 power. To find out what 5 to the negative 1 power is, I'm going to skip this middle part here, and I'm going to continue with this pattern, where I'm dividing by 5 each time. 1 divided by 5, well, you can just write it like this, 1 fifth. Uh, this is another way of writing 1 divided by 5. All right. 5 to the negative 2 power, 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2. To figure that out, I'm going to divide by 5 again. And if I divide by 5, 1 fifth divided by 5 is, well, how about I do that over here? And that means, so I'll do that here. I'll squeeze it in right here. One fifth divided by five. Now we know that five is the same thing as five over one. And when you divide fractions, you have to flip the second fraction and change it to multiplication. And then you do one times one is one, and five times five is 25. So one fifth divided by five is one over. 25. And I'll continue here. 5 to the negative third power. To find out 5 to the negative third power, I have to divide by 5 again. Now hopefully, if you're looking at this pattern up and down here, you'll see that 
120, uh, 125th divided by 5 is 1 over 125. I see a pivot point around the 1. I have uh, 5 and 1 fifth and 25 and 1 over 25 and 125 and 1 over 125. That's a pretty important relationship here. Further, I want to now talk about this part and the negative exponents. Here, 1 fifth. Uh, 5 is the same thing as 5 to the first power. That's what we were saying right here. 5 to the first power is 5. So, 1 fifth is the same thing as 1 over 5 to the first power. You may think, well, so what? I'll show you a little bit more. 25. 25 is 5 to the second power. That's what I was showing right here. So instead of 1 over 25, I can have 1 over 5 to the second power. Finally, 1 over 125. 125 is 5 to the third power. So this is the same thing as one, writing 1 over 5 to the third power. Hopefully, you see a relationship that's happening here in this area that I'm going to box right here. Notice 5 to the negative 1 is 1 over 5 to the first. 5 to the negative 2, 1 over 5 to the second. 5 to the negative 3 is 1 over 5 to the third. This relationship happens where if you want, this is the negative exponent, and if you want to write it as a positive exponent, you would put a 1 on top, and now it becomes a positive exponent. What's also happening here is something I'll write here. Uh, let's say that I am, I am writing, uh, writing here in blue, uh, let's say I have 7 to the negative second power. Well, this is the uh, same thing as 1 over 7 to the positive second power. And if you think about 7 to the negative second power, that's the same thing as putting it over 1. You can put anything over 1, it doesn't change it. But now what's happening here is you're flipping the fraction. You flip this fraction into this form, but when you do so, the sign changes on the exponent. You may be thinking, well, what about if you have 8 to the third power? What would that be if you were to do this kind of stuff to it? Well, that would be 1 over 8 to the negative third power. So that's all I have to say about the integer exponents. I hope it's been informative. That's it.